Hey, come on guys. Come on in, let's have some fun and play. Hey, what's up Rock Flock? This is the Master Gamer Rockhawk64, welcoming you back to Let's Play Golden Sun. If you guys remember in the last episode, we stopped, we swung back by Billabin and the Barricade, and we picked up a neat couple of neat rewards, and then we made our way to Fushin Temple where we found a Dijin. We found a, a Jupiter Dijini Zephyr, and we also got this neat little Orb of Force. So, now, here we are in the Mulgal Forest. The broken sign reads, North Fushin Temple, South Mulgal Prairie. So, this is basically is a Lost Woods type thing, where if you go in a direction, you might suddenly find you went the wrong way. So, what we do is we use this neat little force synergy. And we follow the monsters. So, we basically follow the monsters. Oh, we got some new enemies. These are the Bone Fighters. They are upgrades of the skeletons, as you might have guessed. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that Blizzard has a the, the Blizzard Unleash has a chance to drop attack. Warble slash. You're down. And you're down. So as you can see, it's rather easy to beat enemies with just physical attacks if you know, uh, if you know how much they can, each damage they can eat. Oh, restore! That's why we got rid of that elixir because she has restore now, which basically here cures just about any status ailment that isn't poison. So there's a nut up there. Come on. I'm glad that only cost one synergy point to use. We got a nut. I sold mine off last episode, if you remember, so I need some replacements. Those were some monsters, they didn't last. One of them tried to delude Lucas, but unfortunately for him, Lucas's attack was an unleash, which are undodgeable. So, apparently we go this way next. See, you never really know you're going the right way until you see a different room. Okay, now one of these has... This is where they start getting tricky with you. And sometimes they'll jump from one stump to another. So do be wary of that as well. Ooh, it's a new enemy, the Death Head. It's basically a stronger variant to the Will Head we saw earlier. Because what RPG... Would this really be a good JRPG without recycling old enemy designs and just recoloring them and calling it a new monster? No, it would not. Ah, oh, this is the room that has a thing that we want. Lucas got a nice level up there, and he learned a neat little move. So what we want to do is we want to move that rock down into that. We want to roll that down. And then this over. I'm going to keep this battle in just because I'm going to show off sleep. Which, as you might have guessed, puts enemies to sleep. So now I'm going to skip the rest of this battle. I will say this, though, about sleep. Um, if you wake up on your, like, like the turn that you wake up, that is your action for that turn, is waking up. Anyways, here's this thing we want. A Venus to Jenny. 
Well, we'll also show off Heat Wave, why not? Let's see if we can s throw it to sleep, though, because if we can put him to sleep, that would be hilarious. Damn it! Oh, and he cast Earthquake. Spirit, we'll just start slapping you with Plasma. Plasma, Ice, and Fire. No! Bastard! You bastard! That little motherfucker ran for me! Anyways, what do we want to do now? I want to try this again, Mr. Dijeni. Let's see if we can make him go to sleep again. Damn it! The power of sheep is failing. Oh, look, there's a new one. Blizzard! Usually I can get him to fall asleep. It just seems like the LP curse is not on my side today. Oh god, Lucas! Oh god, good! Oh, oh I was gonna be so pissed if Lucas was downed. Anyways, there's a neat little Disney Quartz that revives the downed ally. So, now we don't have to worry so much about having a downed ally. So what we do now is we push that up. No! Wrong way, Isaac. Rock. Damn it. Anyways. Let us now force you out of there. Like I said, the little fuckers start getting tricky. Oh, Rock leveled up. Kick ass. Cuz he just learned my fav he just learned one of my favorite moves in the game. Ragnarok. So this is the way we go, huh? You know what? Let's go ahead and show Ragnarok off. Ragnarok! Oh, cool. That death head is even weak to it. That's an even bigger bonus. Purple slash! And making sure I don't lose anyone. Probably should have done something more than cure. Oh well. I'll know when we're at the end. And we're getting there. Down's the way, huh? Okay. It's a good thing that Skype message came in my battle. Or it came during that battle. Um... So sorry about that, guys. I'm actually currently trying to talk to Via Vanille, and I didn't expect that it would be keep going after I'm recording, but I'm okay with that. Via's awesome. So... In fact, what we're talking about is spoiler stuff. Well, no, it's not actually spoilers for, like, the game, but what we are discussing is spoilers. Shit! So, yeah, 
Let's see now. Nope, I wasn't aligned with it. Right. Shit. Oh. Hal is now level 13. Okay, so I forgot we go back here. I can do puzzles and I can also and I can also kill the things. So as you can see, there's actually three paths we can take. Tell us which path is the right path. It's down. Okay. Okay, this is where we want to be careful. I don't know, but I didn't like the sound of that. Some semblance of having health is what we want. Why? Because... That's something big. The Killer Ape. Welcome to our next boss fight. Uh, for now, I'll just smack him with a little bit of everything. Because I don't remember this guy's weakness. Oh god, Ransack! No, 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 no! Okay, so you are not weak to Jupiter. So just like everything else in this forest, you are weak to... Well, most everything else, you are weak to Mars. Oh god, war cry. Oh no! Oh no! I tried to status you and you statused me! Oh no! Oh gosh, 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 Lucas! Yes! He's asleep! Take that, you smarmy bastard! Um... We'll see if that does anything to Hal's damage output. I don't think it will, to be honest. But it doesn't hurt to try. Wave. Oh, it did! Okay, so there are certain synergies, usually a lot of your single target ones, that will work off of your attack stat. It's like the higher your attack is, the more damage it does. Oh no, Gina! Nope, not statusing him this time, apparently. So yeah, I believe Ragnarok is also one Heat Wave is. And... COOL! <laughs> We got the super effective kill. Lucas is now level 13. And Gina's level 14. And we got the douse drop. So there we go. And that is the woods of Mogal, aka Mogal Woods. Um, another thing I wanted to mention, you notice that I actually managed to fully heal Lucas when I had Gita use Ply. Well, in battle, your elemental power will determine the effectiveness of offensive and defense and support synergies. So, like, the higher uh, Lucas's Jupiter power gets, the more of an attack boost uh, he'll be able to give. 
with impact. So, anyways, um, that's this episode uh, of Let's Play Golden Sun. I've been Rockhawk64. I want to thank you guys for watching. Seriously, it means so much to me that uh, you'd be willing to take time out of your day to watch me play some bitchy games. Um, in our next episode, we'll be moving on to the next town. What is that next town? Is there anything to do there? What will we find? All these questions and more will be answered in the next episode. So until then, guys, just remember to keep on gaming and rock on.